All right, boys. So we now actually know who the uh, the new servant is for the new Valentine's event. I was sitting over here being like, oh man, maybe it'll be Arcoid or something. But it turns out it's actually going to be Bazette, which I mean, this is going to be either complete make it or complete break it for a lot of people. Because I know me personally, I never really cared a lot about Bazette. She was never really like a servant or like not a person, not a servant, but like a person I really cared for, right? But I know some people just go absolutely crazy for Bizet because admittedly in Prisma Ilya, she's a little adorable, right? I'll give her a smidge, right? But I know this is going to be a big like make it or break it for a lot of people. She is an alter ego. She's confirmed to be the five star. Keep in mind for a lot of these Valentine's event, we don't usually get a new four star servant. So this is probably just going to be the new person so this is kind of crazy and this is going to be more of like a speculative video over here i kind of had this post that i uh, put out an hour ago because you guys know that your boy is always up at the time of the live stream release to make sure i get the content out for you guys you know it is actually quite literally 4 40 in the morning so we're just going to kind of like look at some comments you know kind of see what people are saying about this uh servant because I want to interact with the community a little bit, you know, I want to make some people feel validated. Um, If you have not already, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Links down in the description down below. I am way too tired to do my standard YouTuber shill, dude. I cannot do the whole, like, loot cakes, LD emulator thing. Dude, cannot do that. I, way too tired. I am pretty psyched about Bazette. We don't really know too much about her right now. Like, as you guys can see, there's not a whole lot going on we don't even know what type of np is like which is crazy dude this is how new it is they don't even know what rank it is man <laughs> that's how like new this is but yeah um before i kind of like look at comments and you know validate some people that are commenting down below um as for how excited i'm about bazette i was fully in the camp of this being the new arcoid servant because i i uh, me personally i'm not the biggest fan of Tsukihime. i kind of view it as like nasu's first draft into like the whole nasu verse that he has going on between like Tsukihime, Kara no kyokai and fate right i see Tsukihime as kind of like his introductory so it's definitely like better than most stories right like it's better than if you watch like bleach naruto one piece dragon ball or something along those lines in my opinion right if you like dragon ball if you like naruto one piece i'm not trying to insult you i'm just saying i think Tsukihime is better than a lot of those because nasu is a good writer but compared to like karno kyokai and fate it just it's not really something that really interests me a whole lot right but on the other hand you have someone like arcoid who i guess since i'm streaming over here if you look at arcoid bro like arcoid's kind of a cutie patootie i mean ignore that ignore this ignore the the insane pictures right arcoid's kind of a cutie patootie bro and every time i try to say she's a cutie google is trying to prove me wrong okay look at this okay there you go look at that arcoid is a cutie pie all right so i was really expecting this for valentine's because a Valentine's Arcoid probably would have hit different, but Bazen, not bad, right? It's not like the most insulting thing known to mankind. It's definitely interesting. I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with this servant. I don't really know what we need in the meta. It's like, are they going to do a Buster servant? Because Buster is kind of like the new quote unquote meta that they're pushing. Or are they going to put out like, a quick servant because quick is the weakest of the three types i really don't know and if you're watching this video for like a narrative an analysis like you know you're not really going to get that but yeah it's very interesting that we're getting this new bazet but yeah i as far as my thoughts i'm kind of neutral on it now let's either indulge people or roast them in the comments and see what they're about because you know i stayed up for this so you know i'm going to see what my community thinks about this my theory is that Brazette is an alter ego because she has Nuada in her, which means she's a divine spirit and divinity similar to Odin and Zeus. Now, we do know that she actually is a link to, like, the Celtic god of death or something along those lines. Like, she has something to do with, like, Celtic people. Makes sense because if you didn't know, like, let's say you're, like, someone that uh, watched Fate Stay Night and you have no idea. Bazette is the original person that summoned Ku. Like, she summoned Ku and was supposed to fight with him in the Grail War, but Kirei you know, just kind of being Kirei, 
decided to mark Bazette and steal Ku from her. And then he imposed like that silly command on Ku where he said, oh, Ku, you're not allowed to fight at full power against anybody on your, you know, first attempt or whatever, right? So yeah, a lot of nonsense happened. So makes sense that you get a little bit of, um, a little bit of that Celtic influence because that's supposed to be her original servant. Okay, let's go. I've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for Bazette. I mean, I guess if you're waiting for Tomboy Milkers, Bazette is definitely the servant to go for because, okay, please, YouTube, do not ban me. Do not, do not show me NSFW, please. I'm clicking Google Images. Do not kill me. Do not destroy me. But yeah, if you like, look at this. Bazette definitely has some milkers, dude. She's definitely got some tibbies on her. So I can see why you've been waiting for this servant. She's definitely like, she's got the tomboy thing going on, but she's also got some tibbies hidden down there. Okay, ignore this. Sorry, don't, I'm not paying attention to that, you know? Um, I knew you, my ZTL god. I don't know what that means, but I'm giving that man a heart. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta do. That's something I like. Facts. Wonder if this is like angry mangoes MP like a counter or something. So for you guys, for you guys that do not know, basically in like the fate hollow ataraxia, you follow a Bazette over here, and she's like assisted by Anger Minu, who's polluted the Grail, all this nonsense. Anger Minu basically helps Bazette not die, for lack of a better term. You have to kind of get through all of it. So. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting theory for him to be like, huh, I wonder if Anger is going to be in here. In fact, you actually see it. It was in one of the pictures we were literally just looking at. There we go. You see Anger here. Yeah, this is a reference to like Hollow Ataraxia, where Anger Mine, you kind of assist Bazette because Bazette gets bodied by Kire, blah, 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 blah. Anger is like, oh, you shouldn't die. All that, all that good stuff, right? That's a whole other like fate theory, right? So it's an interesting idea. God, I hope not. She would be complete garbage. Hey, 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 hold on, bro. You, you trying to tell me you don't think Anger Miney's good? Hold on a minute. Servant review. Servant review. Hold on, hold on, boys. You guys didn't think this was a servant review for Anger Miney? Hold on. Hold on, I gotta do the stage four, because, you know, it's not a ZTL video if you're not doing that. Reduces one enemy's critical attack chance by 50% for three turns. Broken, bro. You, you're not getting crit. You're insane. You can reduce one enemy's NP gauge by one and their attack by 30%. You're, you're taking no damage. You're insane, bro. The two hundred percent quick buff. That's so insane. Don't 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 pay attention to this, right? Obviously, ignore this. But two hundred percent quick buff. That's insane. On top of his seven point nine percent. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop trying to gas up on remind you. But <laughs> yeah, um, this guy. <laughs> I understand your concern if you're like, huh, she's tired to anger mind you and anger mind you's, um, well, he, he commits die after five turns. I can understand being a little concerned about that. Nice. I know I should wait. I was telling you guys, look at this. Look at this. I was trying to tell you guys, this is an incredibly powerful lineup, dude. They even got me to summon on this banner for Nero Bride because not only is Nero Bride super just adorable but look at this he i don't need to say anything else okay i don't need to say anything else and they got nero bright on here you know you know you guys know what i'm saying okay I i'm trying to be the fgo guy the daily fgo guy that uploads content for everybody every single day but at my core i'm an fgo coomer right so like they put super cute nero in front of me i already have castoria dog like i don't even need nero and i'm like Bro, I got a summon. I got a summon. They got me. And then I'm punished. I'm punished because Bazette comes out. So props to this dude for saving. Bazette, <laughs> I'm in NA. I mean, look, this is the nice thing about having an NA account, right? It's that you see this coming and you're like, dang, there's going to be Nero, Claudius, Say, MHX, they're all coming out. But now you know who to summon for. You, you know that Bazette's going to be broken. If Bazette's not broken... I'm going to DW. I'm going to fight all of them. Or whatever their new company is. Whatever their new company is, leave it in the comments down below. And I'm literally going to fist fight all of them, okay? I'll oh, remind you Valentine's right at bed. But is that Banana Eclair? Let's go. See, this is what I don't get about the fake community sometimes. Sometimes I just don't even get the... I don't even get the references. <laughs> okay, bro. Sorry, but I'm not familiar with fate stuff because of the thing. I don't know where to start <laughs> anyways. 
you know, I got this. Hold on, I got this boy. Anybody that wants to watch Fate, I got you right now. I got you right now. You start with... Sorry. Okay, I know. I Okay. I know everybody's roasting me in the comments right now because I'm typing at the pace of a snail, right? But keep in mind, it is 4.50 in the morning. I stayed up to get this information for you guys, and I'm now interacting with the community. So don't roast me, okay? If you roast me, um, I don't know, banned. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Um... <laughs> this is a good time to shout out be like hey man if you want to if you want to stay up with your boy you know you want to interact with your boy on a one-on-one -on -one, my discord is in the description down below as well uh feel free to come down <laughs> feel free to come down there but yeah you start with fate zero because it is the best series hands down then you can watch either UBW or the Heavens Feels movies, then just watch whatever the hell you want. Hopefully this person sees my, hopefully this guy sees my video and knows that, you know, <laughs> I'm not being 100% serious, but truthfully, you can just watch whatever the, whatever the heck you want, man. But yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, hope you guys kind of just enjoy this little improv video. Um, I kind of want to do more videos where I can kind of just talk to the community because I like streaming, but I know a lot of you guys don't really get to come out to the streams all that often. So I'm thinking about maybe streaming like Saturdays on the ZTL like YouTube channel and all that stuff. So I don't know, like, le le like leave your comments in the comments down below. I'm, I'm really curious because, you know, this is a hype thing for me and everything. I'm obviously very tired because I'm up at 5 a.m. my time. But at the same time, I'm like, I get to post this, I get to drop this post and a lot of you guys respond and, you know, it's kind of heartwarming. I'm like, dang, you guys care, man. And I'm like, man, I want to do more for you guys. So just let me know all that's good stuff in the comments down below because, you know, I want to interact with more of you guys and maybe some of you guys are just not able to come out to the twitch maybe you guys are just more accessible on youtube let me know all that good stuff in the comments down below because yeah like i you know a little little bit of a personal stuff but i cherish all of you guys like you know you guys are all very, like very special to me and you know i might not uh, always get around to liking all your comments because you know i'm super busy with school right now but you know i i like having you guys around man it's uh it's definitely very good for me I love seeing all the people that uh that learn more about FGO through my videos and it's just like super heartwarming for me. Like I just genuinely love it, you know what I'm saying? So uh I like seeing that most people kind of get along. I know that sometimes we do tier lists and sometimes we do like top fives and those can get a little toxic and I've done some Twitch streams where I've been like, ah, the people that disagree with me are being dumb dumbs or whatever. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'd I like it the most if we could all just kind of agree to disagree and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I know a little, little, little bit of a sappy ending on a on a Bazette video, but, you know, that's just kind of how I am. I'm, you know, your boy's a psych major, so he's all about the emotions and all that good stuff. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, all that good stuff in the comments down below. Leave that down there. If you want to interact with me, my Discord is linked down in the description down below. I'd love to see more of you guys come out there because um, even if I, you know, I'm not able to interact all that often because I'm either you know, being super nerdy, doing a D&D &D campaign or trying to ladder in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel or something. I still do pay attention to like the FGO chats and everything. And, you know, I do like love seeing you guys active in there. And I love seeing new players getting the help they need in the FGO chat. So, uh, yeah, all that good stuff and wholesome ending aside, um, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video where I am not as tired as I am now. But peace, late, love all you guys. Uh, See you all in the next video.